Hi, it's Kaylee from createwithkaylee.com and I'm here today on the Scrap Addict channel to show you this month's challenge. So this month was the tic-tac-toe challenge and it was quite difficult for me really to look across and pick um, three different things that I thought would work together and kind of go with some of the ideas I had. Now unfortunately none of the ideas went with the tic-tac-toe challenge so I really had to think long and hard about what I wanted to do and in the end I came up with this little cutie. So this is probably the smallest album I think I've ever made. Um, well, maybe that's not true. I've made tiny albums, but I think this is what I would class as more of an album because of the, the, the little bit of binding we're going to do. So it's quite simple. This is just a belly band that I've used as kind of an embellishment using the circles in the challenge. Oh, so just to let you know, I went for circles, homemade embellishments and pastel colours. And that's the tic-tac-toe that I used. It's the belly band keeping it together. And then we constantly we open it up and it is like a Constantina pop out album and they have um, little page decorations on each. Um, I've got a little title. I've just done it all in handwriting just so that it's kind of cutesy and personal to me. So these are just some photos that I've had for ages of was in a my me and my husband in a photo booth that I've really just not known what to do with. But this is quite a cute little gift that you could quite easily give as like a little present. Um, so yeah, I thought this was really sweet. So I'm going to show you how to make it, because it's really not that difficult at all, which is my kind of album. So you're going to need to get some pieces of um, patterned paper, and you're going to need to get some either hard, like, it's called cardboard, so this is what comes in the back of paper, um, and the back of the paper packs that I buy, just to keep it nice and sturdy. And this is great, um, it's about an, maybe a sixteenth to an eighth thick. Um, but nice and steady and it's really good for doing the binding on albums and I've just replicated that here. So you're also going to need two pieces of patterned paper, two and three quarters by two and three quarters and you're going to need four pieces of four by four, sorry five pieces of four by four but I'll show you that bit next. So what we're going to start with is our binding. We're going to take some liquid glue for this and we're simply just going to adhere the cardboard to the pattern paper. Just a nice dollop of glue in the middle. I'm just going to position this as close to centre as possible. Now it doesn't need to be exact, but the closer the better. And then we're just going to pop these two aside just to let that glue dry. Now this glue I'm using Tombow dries relatively quickly, but if you're using a glue that takes a little bit longer, you're going to want to make sure that that bit is nice and stuck down before you proceed. So, just bringing our 4x4, four four. so I have done three of them just to save time, but I'm saving two so I can show you what to do. So you're going to want to score at two inches, flip it over and do another two inches. If you're using an all one like I am, you're then going to want to come up and cut down just the half. And with the flap on your left hand side, you're going to want to turn it and you're going to want to score a diagonal in the top corner. So to your left, flaps on the bottom, top corner, you're going to want to score a diagonal line. Now to do this, all I do is I line the point up with the point on the, the track of the trimmer and I just follow it down to halfway. There you go. So I'm just going to show you that again. So four by four, score it two inches, flip, top, score it two, cut down the bottom half, make it diagonal and give it a nice little score line as such. So what we're going to do with that, these now is we're going to fold them with our bone folder. We need to make sure that we have some really nice tight creases. This will make this work much easier. The best thing I find to do is to just go around and score it on multiple ways, multiple angles. It just makes the paper a little bit more flexible, a little bit more amenable to folding out in that manner. So you need to do that for all of them. I'd love to know in the comments if you've been playing along with the tic-tac-toe tic 
Tori challenge. Wow, that's really difficult to say. Should have practiced that. It's like a tongue twister. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you have, we'd love to you to pop over to the Facebook page, UK Scrap Addicts, and show us what you've been making. It's really inspiring when other people get on board and um, join in the challenge too. It just really gets those ideas flowing. And I have to say I've been really inspired by the other creations this month because this was a really hard challenge. I think this is the hardest one we've done. Okay, so now we've got all of these scored, you can either leave them aside or decorate them first. Now I like to at the very least stick them together. I think that makes the whole thing easier because then you kind of know what you've got to work with. So all we do to stick these together is, oops, sorry. These two flaps, these need to be stuck together. Now it doesn't really matter which way you do them. So we're just gonna pop them together as such. And that is then the page. And you can then decorate that or you can leave it uh, blank. If you've got some paper that you've been saving, you love it so much, this could actually make a really cute um, display box. If you wanna cherish some paper, you could do that with this because it is really pretty and I'm a bit of a hoarder so just going to stick these all together and then like I say decorate them you could decorate them first but if you do you just need to make a mark on the one that you're not going to be using so for example this one this page I'm going to put adhesive here and that is going to be then void. So what you could do if you want to decorate them first is you could just put a cross on it. And then you know that those two are your sides. That's where the adhesives go in. And then you can decorate it with its flat. And that is a little bit easier. But you really do need to mark the cross. Otherwise you'll end up spending a lot of time making a beautiful um, side. Only to realise that you need to stick it down. So there are all the pages now done just going to pop them to side and we will stick them down after so let's bring our bases back in now the trick to having a really neat tidy edge for your binding is a bone folder and a little bit of patience so you really do need to press in as you're as you're, fold, as you're using your bone folder here this is going to give you some really nice crease lines and it's going to what make this look so neat so what I like to do when I've done that is to bend the paper around, take my bone folder, score along the edge and then press down. You do this on all of the edges and I find that this again helps you get that really nice boxed appearance. If your card isn't very thick this will be a little bit harder um, because your card might be bendy. But there we go, so that is the scoring done. Now we just need to do the same on the other. Drop seat today. Okay, so once we've done that and we have given it all a really good bend and we're happy that we've got some really neat edges, what we need to do is take our scissors and just cut off the corners. Now you want him to be leaving about an eighth to three sixteenths off the edges. And again this is just to help make it look nice and tidy. I have neat corners. Okay so what we're going to do then, I like to work in twos so I do, I put adhesive on one side and I fold it over, give it a nice press and oh, maybe give it time for the glue to actually work. Do the other side. And then same on the other piece. So it's quite easy when you're working with something so titchy. I like to make big albums kind of using this technique and um, it's a little bit harder when they're, <laughs> when they're substantially bigger. Okay, 
So when they're all stuck down, now for one of the fiddly bits, you need to get the tip of your bone folder and you need to push in at the corner. So you're effectively wrapping that extra excess just around the edge of the corner and this is just gonna make it a nice neat edge and the paper's all gonna fold over into each other and you're not gonna have a nasty join. You do need to be a little bit forceful, so put a little bit of pressure when you're pushing inwards. But it is it's the little tricks that make the project just look a little bit more fancy. So then to finish off, simply glue the edge and repeat the step that we just did. And now we have our finished front. Well, we will in a sec when I finished. And I don't think you'll really be able to appreciate on the camera, but you're gonna have some nice, neat corners that are all tucked away with no hanging paper. Doesn't matter if a little bit of the glue splodges out because we are gonna cover this inside. So these I think make really cute little gifts. Sweet little mementos. And they're my favorite types of things to create. Cause I really, I love making things to share memories. So all we need to do now is to put glue on one side and build this up. So I'm just going to whiz through and put glue on all of the sides. And then we can just stick them together in one go. Nice little press. It's good to keep on bringing it back and just making sure it's in line. As such. And then when you've finished, you just pop on the front cover, making sure you're still square. And then pop on the back cover. Oh, I just need to press that a little bit harder, I think. Oops. Really, I'm throwing everything around today. And give that a good nice squeeze. And then you have your little book. Now, if you want, you can make this without doing the binding. This is just an extra step to make it a little bit more solid and a little bit more um, good for a gift. But you could just have, I've always done these without the binding bit and then they're nice, cute, lightweight. This makes it a little bit heavier because of the cardboard. But I think you'll see that if you're giving somebody a sweet little gift or treasuring some really special memories, you kind of want something that's going to be a little bit sturdier. You can also quite easily make this whatever size that you want. Um, just remember that it's got to be squares to get this pattern and you're good to go. So I really hope you enjoyed this. I'd love to see you create one, um, whether you're going to go for miniature or whether you want to do a stepped up bigger version. So please do share it over on the UK Scrap Addicts group or send me a message and let me see it directly. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have a great day. I'm going to pop the measurements over on the blog just so that you don't need to write them down and I'll see you again next month. Thanks. Bye bye.